where I have to simplify the following expressions completely. First expression is x to the third times x to the fifth. Before we determine this product using the product property of exponents, let's find this product by expanding x to the third and x to the fifth. Remember the exponent tells us how many factors we have of the base. So x to the third is equal to three factors of x. So here's x to the third. And we have times x to the fifth, so we have times five factors of x. So here's x to the fifth. And now if we find this product, notice how we have three plus five or eight factors of x which means this product is x to the eighth. By understanding this, it'll help us better understand the exponent property shown here below, where a raised to the power of m times a raised to the power of n equals a raised to the power of m plus n. This tells us when multiplying and the bases are the same, we add the exponents, where this sum tells us how many total factors of the base we have after multiplying. So applying the product property of exponents for x to the third times x to the fifth, we would have x raised to the power of three plus five, which equals x to the eighth. Again, this sum tells us how many factors of the base we have after multiplying, which in this case, we know is eight. Next, we have m to the twelfth times m to the twenty-third. Now, as the exponents get larger, determining their product by expanding becomes less efficient, so for the rest of the examples, we'll apply the product property of exponents. So because we're multiplying and the bases are the same, m to the twelfth times m to the twenty-third is equal to m raised to the power of twelve plus twenty-three, which equals m raised to the power of thirty-five. Again, this should make sense because we have twelve factors of m here, twenty-three factors of m here, and therefore in their product we'd have thirty-five factors of m, which gives us m to the thirty-fifth. Next we have three to the second times three to the third. So because we're multiplying and the bases are the same, we add the exponents and the base stays the same. So we have three raised to the power of two plus three, which equals three to the fifth. Again, we have two factors of three here, three factors of three here, which gives us five factors of three or three to the fifth. But for this example, because we have a numerical base, we can evaluate this by determining what three to the fifth is equal to. Let's first evaluate this on the calculator. So we enter the base of three. This is the exponent key, sometimes called the caret. And then we enter the exponent of five, and then enter, which gives us 243. To evaluate three to the fifth by hand, we'd have to expand three to the fifth, which means we have five factors of three, and then multiply from left to right, which will give us 243. Now for the last expression, we have two to the third plus two to the second. We need to be careful on this example. Notice how we're not multiplying, we're adding, and therefore the product property of exponents does not apply. This only applies when multiplying, and the base is the same. Again, we're adding here, so what we can do though, is evaluate two to the third, evaluate two to the second, and then find the sum. So for doing this by hand, two to the third means we have three factors of two, plus two to the second or two squared means we have two factors of two, and two to the third is equal to eight, plus two to the second or two squared is equal to four, and therefore the expression simplifies to eight plus four, which equals twelve. This last example reminds us how important it is to pay attention to the operation when applying exponent properties. I hope you found this helpful.